Today, let's check out this Integra Anthem 44B. This is a luxury tag axle diesel pusher. Now, Integra is always built on a Spartan chassis. There's a K1, a K2, and a K3. This is on the K2 chassis. So you're gonna have a 44 foot coach, obviously a rear engine, hence the diesel pusher, with a side rad, 450 horsepower Cummins engine, Allison 3000 transmission, and a whole lot of features that make this, honestly, one of the nicest pushers in the game. I would put it right up there with Numar. This back end is gorgeous. You've got the Integra C lights, one of their trademarks. Light up badging on the front and on the back. Just a real clean, real fresh look to it. This has also got a hitch rated at 15,000 pounds. So for your stacker trailers, we're good to go. This is kind of a new paint scheme. Some people like the swooshy swooshies, some people don't. I don't know what to call this, but it's not swooshy. It's kind of racy. Coming down the passenger side, this is where you spend all your time camping. So you do have way up on top, the high wall, dual Girard awnings up top there. Then you have window awnings on all your different windows. You also have this awning here. So when you leave this area, you don't have to go out say it's drizzling, raining a little bit. This awning will come out to cover you before you go inside. One cool feature about this cargo area is you do have a key, but you also have push button. You see how it's lit up red? That's because it's locked. So you can actually come in here, unlock your cargo bay, and let's see what they're doing now. Push that button, now it's green, open. So here in this bay, we do have the Dometic cooler on a slide out tray. You've got your awning control here remote. This is all insulated, fully heated with that aqua hot system. Coming into the second bay, what do we got? So on this one, we do have a power tray. So this is the easy glide. So we push this button here. That tray is gonna come out. Good for like your heavy items if you don't wanna reach in and wrench your back. There's your spare chairs right there. And I wanna take a look in here and show you something interesting. This Spartan chassis is already a fantastic chassis, but they actually upfit it with these X bracings all the way down the center to give it even more support. Got some 110 plugs up here, air compressor over here. This is a fantastic chassis. Then here down the center of the coach, of course you gotta have a TV. It's got the Samsung smart TV, JBL sound system. Here's your controls. Some USBs over here and some 110 plugs here. Pretty standard stuff, but I like it. Coming down to bay three, what do we got behind here? Okay. So we've got, of course, you're gonna have extra tiles, things like that. Just a nice big space. You've got a inverter manual shut off. There's a duct right there for your dirt devil, central back. But yeah, nice big storage bay. Love the LED light strips. Very clean. Here in bay four, got your solar controller here. Some fuses, breakers for your leveling jacks, more 110 plugs. Next on the list, water tank. Fun stuff. Coming on down to the back. Got our def fluid fill station and batteries. So we've got our two chassis batteries here with some battery disconnects. Got your air dryer, nice and easy to access. This is your engine open, engine cover open right here. Let's open that up. All right, and there's our, there's our engine bay. What a beautiful coach, man. I just love these Integras. So as you can see, everything's really easy to get to. You know, any kind of maintenance you need to do, fluid changes, things like that. You got your oil right here. Very, very clean. Of course, that red Cummins engine. You gotta love that one. Obviously, we can't skip the tires. We got some Michelin 315 80R 22 and a half. Z-rated. Those are gonna last you a while. Here in the cab, 
As you can see, this is the Spartan steering wheel. You do have this smart wheel, so you have some controls over here for your cruise. Down here, you have controls for your settings here on your digital dash. Then over here, you've got some media. Down here, you've got your horn, wipers. Just a really great, easy way to, uh, to navigate. Down here, you've got your transmission, a wireless charger for your phone, cup holder, gen start, battery boost, dome lights, and your auto tag dump. Now, what's really cool is over here in your controls, you can control your mirrors, your steering wheel, tilt, and telescopic, and your pedals also. This whole dash just really feels like a like a Tesla. Obviously, it's a bit different, a little more basic, but just a great, great display. You got your audio controls, climate controls. You can control all of your shades. We already have seen that. Then you've got your GPS system. You can do 2D, 3D. Your leveling's right here in the screen instead of that little pad that you see sometimes over here. So you've got your auto leveling, you can raise and lower, this is all with air. You can go to travel mode, manually adjust, and also put down your hydraulic jacks. Phone controls are here if you pair your phone via Bluetooth. All of your lights, so your interior master lights, exterior master lights, your badge lighting, accent lighting, docking lights. You've got your house uh, controls, generator, auto generator start, you can put your slide step cover out right here. You can lock and unlock your cargo doors, your entry doors. And then you have your settings for setting up your Bluetooth, brightness, all that stuff. This new screen is fantastic. You've also got your cameras up here. So you will have like a rear camera plus a 360. You can go full 360 and you can make that full screen. So you can get an awesome view when you're parking just to make sure you have enough room on either side and front and back. This is fantastic. Then you've got all your other screens. So your backup, front, side cameras, forward and rear. Just an awesome setup. The seats themselves, super wide, super comfortable. This is like an ultra leather type material. And they obviously will swivel, recline. Your feet are going to come out just like granny and grandpa's chairs. And same goes for your passenger. One other cool feature is down here. Your passenger also has some controls. So your radio. So if, say, the wife or the husband likes to be in charge of the radio, there you go. They can also control their own step cover, USBs, drink holders, all that good stuff. So coming down the driver's side, we do have this little 5,000 BTU Furion heater. Just take the chill off, it's electric. Then you have your 50 inch Samsung Smart TV, Bose sound system. And then down here, place to keep your controls for things like your satellite dishes, your DVD players, remotes. Quite a big open space there. Then we have our dinette. These chairs are very comfortable and they swivel, making it pretty easy to get in and out. Got a nice big banquet area over here. The table will extend. Storage up above. And there's a bit of carpet here, so whatever's in there isn't going to scratch and make a lot of noise. These are solid hardwood as well. Then coming down past there. One thing I should point out, there, this slide actually recedes into the floor. So it's actually nice and flush. So you're not gonna have that lip coming over. This whole thing will move over and then down and seat itself inside the floor. Coming along, we've got our residential refrigerator. This thing's brand new. I had to cut off that zip tie. So over here, lots of room, just like the fridge you may have at home. It's an LG, lots of room here. Then down below, got the pull-out tray here, plus your freezer down there. It's a nice fridge. Over here, you've got some beautiful cabinetry. 
here's a sneaky little thing. They had this little space here beside the fridge that was just dead space. So they went ahead and put this slider in. So you do have a little bit of storage here. Now, a lot of people might be thinking, what the heck am I gonna store in there? There's no shelves. Well, that's actually perfect for a Swiffer, a broom, or you could put hooks in here and hang some light jackets. You know, I was talking to the manufacturer reps and they said, you know what? We had some space, so we used it. I actually quite like that, because where are you gonna put your broom? Coming over here, this could be a bar, if that's your style. It's nice and lit up, could be a nice place to display your things. Doesn't have to be a bar, it could be whatever you want. Then some more storage down below, and a couple of drawers. Good looking. Here on the passenger side, you do have a three-seater sofa with seat belts, so you could sit here while you're driving. And you do have USBs, and they are recliners as well. So those are gonna come right out, lay right back. Perfect positioning for the TV. End of the day, after you hit the golf course, have a movie night. Keep your feet nice and warm at that fireplace too. Now this is gonna have the Aqua Hot 450 heating system. One of the biggest benefits of that is this tile floor here can be quite cold. This is all in floor heating throughout the whole system. It's a hydronic heating system. So that means instead of a forced air furnace, this is a radiant heat. So if I can sneak down here, give you a little peek. These little areas here are radiators. So it's just gonna constantly put out heat without making a lot of noise. While I'm down here, we did mention the broom closet. Where are you gonna put the dust? In the easy sweep. And then right over there is for your central vac. Here in the kitchen, you've got everything that you need. Plenty of counter space. This will actually go away for transit, but you pull this out and you've got great storage. Cutting boards right here. These drawers are super deep because of that pullout. Like, look at all that storage. Then you've got plenty of counter space, solid surface Corian style countertops. We've got a place to put your sink covers here, your garbage can, little sponge drawer. And then this is kind of nice. I haven't seen this too much. I've seen acrylic sinks. I've seen stainless steel sinks. This is kind of like a, like a manufactured stone sink. It's very modern. It's got a very nice look to it. Soap dispenser, pull down sprayer to wash them dishes. Got to have that. Then this doesn't have propane on board because it's all diesel heating. So you are going to have the induction cooktops. So you have two induction cooktops. Some people like propane cooking. One of the best benefits for this, when you're cooking, this doesn't get hot. And honestly, it's less of a fire hazard. You don't have any open flames in here. Nice drawer here. And then you gotta love this. You got the dishwasher. Gotta have a dishwasher. Then up here, you do have your in, uh, convection oven as well. This is just to cover up the screws. Some more drawers down here. I gotta say guys, this is a nice size kitchen. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. This digital control panel is fantastic. It does have an app for your phone to mirror it, but let's just go through some of the interesting features. So you can control your day shades, night shades, set it to away mode, stow mode. It'll tell you all your power, what's going on, your generator, auto generator start, tank levels, your engine preheater. That's part of that Aqua Hot 450. You can choose electric heat, diesel heat. You can control all of your lights by zones. So you can hit living area and turn those off. Or in control mode, you can choose every single individual light. You can control all of your shades individually or by zone. You can control your exterior lights your slide outs, your awnings, so your main awnings and as well as your window awnings, all electric. Heating systems, so you've got the Aqua Hot diesel heater, electric heater, you can choose here. All your fans, you can set up a schedule for heating. 
And then you've got your four zones, so your bedroom, kitchen, living room, and your bay heaters. So this will keep the underbelly nice and warm. You can use the aqua hot system or the heat pumps on all three of your air conditioners. Here's your solar charger. So you do have two 190 watt panels standard. So for an example, it's been in the shop for the last few days, no solar. But today it's been out for a few hours and it's managed to collect 176 amp hours of power. Not too bad. All of your fans, you can lock your doors from here. You can lock your cargo bay from here. And then your settings. So you can set up the colors on the screens. It's super in-depth. Like you could play with this thing and really go hard. This is your away mode. So it'll have your time, your date, your temperatures and all your different areas. Then coming down the hall, we do have the midship bath. It's got your toilet, bit of storage, sink, medicine cabinet, just the basics, you know, when you don't want to use the big bathroom or if you have guests, this is a nice little guest bathroom. Nice and roomy. I like the toilet position. So you see you have plenty of room on either side to spread out. You're not stuck in a corner. Your knees aren't up against the wall. And you got to love it when they actually put a toilet pool, toilet roll hanger there as well. You do have a great door closing up the bedroom. But before we go in there, let's have a look at this pantry. So you've got the automatic lights all the way down to light the whole thing up and lots of room for lots of food. These shelves are adjustable as well. So like, say you want cereal on this shelf, you can move these out of the way to suit the size boxes that you want, of course. Then coming into the primary, this is a great bedroom, guys. So you have a king size memory foam mattress. So this is very soft. It's a 10 cell, but look how thick this thing is. I can't tell you if you've never sat on this bed, go to your dealership, sit on this bed. You're going to want one for your house. Here on the side, you do have receptacles, storage. Cabinets up above, pretty standard stuff. You got a mirror, more receptacles, more storage. I want to show you one thing though. Up here, you do have the controls for your ceiling fan. And if I could get in here and show you this. Right up here, you do have a screen, so you can control your shades, your blackouts, your vanity, all that stuff, all your lighting. You can lock your doors. Just a great place to have it. Say you're laying in bed reading a book, you're super tired, you just want to go to sleep, you don't have to get up. You can just shut everything down right here. Then your closet for the bedroom, you've got lots. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six drawers. You've got another Bose sound bar down here. Plenty of storage in here. You've got your Samsung TV as well. And when you sneak this up, you do have a safe for your passports or whatever valuables you don't want to be carrying around. Super good to have something like that. And you do have some space here to set up an Xbox if you're a gamer uh, or an Apple TV or whatever you want. More electronics. More closet here. Your DVD player. I would probably move this behind the TV. I mean, it's easier to get at here. It's up to you. You can put it either side, wherever you want. Now let's go check out the rear main bathroom. So of course, in a diesel pusher such as this, you're gonna wanna have a stackable washer dryer. This is a Whirlpool. Good spot right back here. You've got your toilet, plenty of leg room, great pooping position. And then I just love this walk-in shower. You've got the teak wood bench down here. Big skylight, lots of room. I'm six foot two. <laughs> I mean, if you're seven feet tall, you could stand in this shower. Very, very nice. Then down below, we've got one, two, three, four drawers, five, six drawers on the top. Oh, sponge drawer here and a sponge drawer here. And the nice recessed sink, more of that nice countertops medicine cabinets throughout, 
plenty of space for your toiletries. We don't want to have them all sitting on the counter. Place to hang a towel. And in your closet, it is cedar lined. People always ask, why would you want a cedar lined closet? Well, moths don't like cedar. So why not do that? Some extra carpet here. Lots of space. Look at this. The LED lights built into the hanger bar. That is cool. I got to tell you, this is a nice coach. It's got the right engine. It's got the right components. The floor plan's fantastic. I mean, great seating, great positioning for the TV, great little dinette. And of course, it expands if you have company. There you go. All the comfort for driving with that Spartan K2 chassis with the X bracing. It's going to be a super smooth ride. I mean, a lot of the big motorhome brands reserve the Spartan for their top tier. Integra, they just give you the Spartan on every single chassis, which I absolutely love. So what do you think? Is this Integra Anthem one of the nicest diesel pushers that you've seen? Now, we're not talking Prevo. We're not talking Newell. We're talking under a million dollars. I got to say, this is a beauty. What do you think?